In this video, we're going to have a look at the Renogy Rover Series. This is a 40 amp MPP charge controller. This is the charge controller that comes in the Renogy 400 watt premium solar kit. Now it uh, is a 40 amp, of course, MPPT, so 40 amps. It can charge up to 40 amps of output toward your battery bank. So MPP stands for Maximum Power Point Tracking which means that you can get the, uh, the optimal charge on your batteries or the optimal output from this uh, charge controller to your battery bank. And this would be the, the most efficient way to charge versus a PWM type controller. It also allows you to, uh, to install or set up your uh, solar array in a series configuration. So for instance, I'm going to be connecting the four 100 watt 12 volt solar panels that came with this Renogy premium kit. I can either hook them up in a 12 volt setup in parallel or I can run them in series and run this with a 24 volt input into the charge controller. This charge controller is good for up to 100 amps of input and it's just a much more efficient way to run the system. I will be connecting mine in a 24 volt setup. The premium solar kit by Renogy also includes a Bluetooth module which will connect to the charge controller. There's a port here on the bottom, just plugs in and now you have access via the Renogy free app to access the control features data and uh, just system monitoring through a Bluetooth app, which is a really nice feature. I'm looking forward to using that with this system. Now I'm going to set this up just for the purposes of this video and demonstration with a uh, small sealed lead acid battery with uh, just a couple of jumper cables that are input here down for positive and negative for the, uh, for the battery input. And you always want to connect the battery first. So here on the bottom, you've got an input for the temperature sensor. If you're using lead acid batteries, you can tape it to the side of your battery or in your battery box, and it will help control the output of the charge controller and give you a more optimal charge based on what the temperature of the batteries are. I will not be using this because I'm gonna be using lithium ion phosphate battery. You've got your solar array plugins, positive and minus. These are the two wires coming from your solar array. And then where I've got these uh, jumpers connected, positive and negative, this will go to your battery bank. And then load plus and minus for small amperage loads, such as LED lights or something like that. I will be using these later in this series, and I'll explain and show all that to you when that time comes. And then here's your plug-in for the Bluetooth module that comes in the uh, premium solar kit, 400 watt solar kit. The back of the uh, charge controller is a huge heat sink. And then you've got some options here for different mounting configurations. But it's nice to have a real nice heat sink. As this uh, starts to produce a little bit of heat, it will help it uh, ventilate. It comes with a real nice instruction manual as well as Bluetooth manual. And uh, it goes into a lot of detail that I probably will not cover in this video, but uh, exactly how to set this up for your situation, for your setup. All right, let's get this plugged into the battery and it should turn on. So we've got uh, battery positive here and then the negative to the battery. This is a 12 volt battery. Now we're powered up. And this is just the initial screen that it comes to when you first power up the charge controller. It has four lights up here. The top one is to show the uh, array and if you have a uh, solar panel or an array of panels connected and everything is working well, you'll, you'll see a, a solid white light up there. You see a white light on the second one down, which is the battery, indicating that we have battery connected. The third light down from the top is the uh, light indicating the load. We don't have one connected at this point, and it's actually in the off mode at the moment. And then the bottom one will illuminate if you have an error code of some sort. Again, all of the error code information is included in the manual. If you, you have an up and down button and then a left and right panel here to sort through different menu items. So if you click the down button from the, from the front menu, it'll give you your error code screen. And right now we're showing an error of zero, which means there are no errors. 
So as far as the button controls, you can uh, sort through all the different screens. Now this one shows the voltage of the battery, 12.6, the battery type, and this is a little bit small and hard to read, but mine is currently on sealed lead acid and a 12 volt setup. This is good for either a 12 or 24 volt setup as far as battery bank. Your battery and then the load. So let's just go through the menu here real quick. This shows the voltage coming from the solar panel. Right now 0.3, basically zero. I have no uh, panel connected. The battery amperage and what's going into your battery zero because I'm not charging anything at this point. I have no input power. This is the percentage of your battery, 72%. Here's the voltage for the battery. Amperage for the load, zero. We don't have anything connected. Amp hours, how many amp hours were put into your battery pack from the solar array. Amp hours going out to your load. The temperature, right now it's showing 24 degrees Celsius. I have two issues with this, and that's one of them. I wish it was programmable from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And then this gives you uh, 15 or so different options. You can program a different number in here, and that determines how you can control the load. It's got some timer settings, dawn to dusk settings, on-off settings with just pushing a button. Manual explains that quite well. I'm not going to go into detail about that, but you can read up on that in the manual. And it's really uh, kind of a cool feature. It's got a lot of different options that you can use for this load. Back to the error code, which is the last screen, and then it goes back to the standard screen. All right, let's plug in the Bluetooth module. See if I can pull this up on my phone. As soon as you plug it in, it should have a green light on the module. And this is basically an antenna. The higher you can place this antenna, the better your reception is going to be and the farther away you can get from your RV or your shed or your workshop or whatever it is you're using the solar system for. And then we can go into the uh, application. And this is uh, called the Renogy BT. And then here's the app. Now you hit this settings button. And you can go in here and you can change the load settings. Uh, battery type for user and a 12 volt system set up on the on the uh, charge controller right now and then here's where you can change several different settings as you can see there are a lot of different settings you can change in here record so you've got a record setting here and it tells you from what day to the next day and it will just accumulate over time last 30 days or the last year if you've got it connected for that long of time and it gives you power use for the same day power generated charge amps the same day discharge amps maximum charge power maximum discharge power minimum battery voltage max battery voltage and a whole bunch of other ones here so it's a really nice app that gives you a lot of information. And then you can just go right here to the monitor. Say you're sitting out at the campfire and you want to check and see how your RV is doing for uh, battery power. It gives you the voltage, any currents that are being drawn, or any power that's being fed into your batteries and wattage based on uh, how big your solar array is. Small section there shows you the battery, voltage, and current temperature if you've got your temperature sensor connected to your battery bank and uh, it does come with the temperature sensor I just didn't put it up here for this demonstration down here it'll show you what state the charger is in if it's in float if it's in bulk or what what stage of the charge it's actually currently running on and then this gives you information for your load here you can search for devices It'll give you a list of the devices that the Bluetooth is, is currently sensing. Pick the one that you want, hit confirm, and it shows device detected. And that'll give you a flashing blue light on the uh, Bluetooth module to indicate that it actually is connected right now to this application. And if you're done with that, you can hit device di disconnect. And now we've disconnected it from the Bluetooth. 
So that's a quick overview of the uh, Renogy Rover 40 amp MPP charge controller and Bluetooth module that comes with the 400 watt Renogy Premium Solar Kit. And this is what I'm going to be using to get set up in the uh, off-grid solar workshop. I will go into further detail on the setup as I get things going here. And uh, right now I'm just going to temporarily mount this on a board so I can screw that to the wall of the off-grid workshop. But I wanted to give you a look at the Renogy Rover 40 amp MPP charge controller and uh, just give you a little overview of what it's all about and, and how it actually kind of works. So if you're interested in this kind of thing, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to see the next video in the series, click the link on the screen and we'll see you there.